Hi everyone, it's Andrea from Movers and Bakers. Today I'm going to continue the love for my new donut pan by sharing some more baked donuts with you. Today we're going to make Oreo donuts. They are amazing, beautiful, chocolatey donuts with a cream cheese glaze. You are going to love these. Let's get baking. So to start with, as always, you have to prepare your donut pan. So this is a six pan, uh, six donut pan. Let me try that again. And all I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to grab a little bit of butter. So obviously I've washed my hands. I'm just going to grab a little bit of butter and I'm just going to rub it all the way on the inside to help my donuts release really easily from my pan. Right, so that is my pan completely buttered and ready to go. So I'm going to set that aside for now. So to start with, I'm going to do my dry ingredients. I have uh, my mixing bowl here and into my mixing bowl, I'm going to sieve my plain flour. Now I will put all my quantities in the link below this so you can find them. So this is 120 grams of plain flour and I've got 30 grams of cocoa powder here. And to that, I'm going to add a half teaspoon each of bicarbonate of soda and baking powder. And we'll sift all those in. And to that, I'm going to add an extra half teaspoon of salt and my brown sugar. This is soft, light brown sugar. Oh, <laughs> that I've made myself. And if you don't know how to make brown sugar, you can check out my video for that. Now, all my dry ingredients, I'm just gonna give them a very quick mix together just to make sure everything is really well combined in this bowl. And that's all done. So I'm gonna set aside my dry ingredients and pull out a separate, I'm using a jug just cause it's easier to pour for my wet ingredients. In my wet ingredients bowl, I'm gonna put some milk. This is whole milk just because I find the fat is really good when baking with helping everything come together. And to that, I'm going to add one egg and some vanilla. I'm gonna give that a quick little whisk together before I keep adding the rest of them. So I have some vinegar here. I'm going to add that in as well. And my last wet ingredient is some butter. And this is melted butter. So all I've done is just popped it in the microwave for about 20, 30 seconds, stirring it in between and just melted it down. Really easy. Now with adding butter, because it can solidify and go back to being solids, I tend to whisk as I'm pouring the butter into my liquids. So that is all my wet ingredients done. So now I'm gonna put them together. So to our dry ingredients, I am literally going to pour in my wet ingredients and then mix it together to make a beautiful cake mixture dough for our donuts. This is so simple and I'm loving being able to make donuts so quickly and easily at home for my family. This one is one of my kids' favorites and mine. If you haven't already checked it out, I did make um, I did share with you my Biscoff donuts, which are my husband's favorites. So do check those out too, if you haven't already. So just give this a very quick mix together. You don't need to beat it up. Hence you can see I'm just doing it by hand. You just want to bring it all together until you've got this lovely cakey mixture. And to that, my last ingredient that I've got is of course some Oreos. Now this is just four Oreo biscuits, the regular ones that you can buy easily in the store. And all I'm going to do, I want them to just be crushed, but really roughly. So I'm just going to do them by hand as I put them in. The, what you're looking for with these is you want them to be small enough that they're gonna go through your piping bag if you're gonna pipe these into your donut tin. So I tend to just crush them between my fingers. As you can see, it does tend to be a bit of a messy job. So be prepared for that. And the nice thing I find actually about Oreos is that they're quite a soft biscuit when you put them with um, slightly wet ingredients. So putting them in this cake mixture and mixing it through, I actually find that it softens them fairly quickly, which means that they're soft enough then to, even if I've not quite made them small enough, they will go through my piping bag just fine. So while I have been making my batter for my donuts, I turn my oven on. My oven has been preheating at 180 Celsius. That's 350 Fahrenheit. And by the time I am done with putting all this together, my oven will be ready for me to bake in. That's all my biscuits broken in. So I'm just going to give this whole mix one final push around my bowl, just to completely combine my Oreos in with my cake mixture. So I'm just going to pop, I'm using a small piping bag just because I don't 
I prefer using smaller ones to be honest. So I'm just going to spoon this in here so that I am ready to pipe. And while I am doing that, don't forget if you are enjoying my videos to like them and do subscribe as well so you will always know when I release new videos. So I'm not going to use all this mixture. As you can see, I'm going to start with a little bit and do a few donuts because I've got just the one pan to fill. So I find it easier when making these donuts to pipe them into the pan rather than spooning it in. But if you don't have any bags, you can use a Ziploc bag or freezer bags instead. But if you don't want to do that, you can absolutely spoon them in. It just tends to be a bit messy, I find, which is why I prefer doing it this way. So push it down and twist the top so it doesn't come out the other end, otherwise you'll be in trouble. And then you just need to fill your rings with your mixture. And once you have filled all your rings, you go ahead and bake these donuts. Mine take about eight minutes or so in the oven, but they can take anything from eight to 10 minutes. So once I have filled these up before it drips everywhere, all you're going to do is pop these in the oven and bake them, watch them for eight to 10 minutes, and I will see you on the other side to glaze them. Right, my donuts are baked and out of the oven. As you can see, my mixture made me nine donuts. Um, they took my oven nine minutes this time, actually. So I have pulled them out. You need to make sure when you pull your donuts out of the oven that you leave them in the tin for a few minutes to firm up a bit as they cool slightly before you take them out the whisk. They're just gonna break and fall apart and you won't be able to have ring donuts to be able to ice them. So I cool them for a few minutes in the tin and then I've transferred them and they are now cool on my cooling rack. They don't take long at all. Right, so now it's time for us to make the glaze. So for this, I'm using some cream cheese. This is 30 grams of cream cheese. Make sure, just to make it easier to work with, that you keep your cream cheese at room temperature before you use it. Just because when you whisk any kind of cream cheese, it's much better if it's done from a room temperature setting than a cold setting, or it's more likely to split. So that's my cream cheese in there. To that, I am going to add some icing sugar. This is quite a lot, it's 200 grams of icing sugar, but once it mixes with the cheese, it will completely disappear and you'll get a lovely glaze. So we'll pop those in, try not to get a cloud everywhere. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And I'm going to put some vanilla in as well. This is a teaspoon of vanilla. Right, so I've got my ingredients in there and before I work out how much milk to put in, I'm just gonna give these a bit of a mix together first. Now be prepared, if you've used icing sugar in the past, you will know that icing sugar does fly everywhere, so be prepared for a little bit of mess. Might be a lot of mess. I am going to pop in a little bit of milk just to help me on my way. So I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of milk in just to start my icing off, and if I need more to loosen it up, then I can add it in. Nope, we're still flying everywhere. We're getting there. <laughs> so, don't do what I did and make a big mess, or do, because it's fun. So once you have recovered from flying icing sugar everywhere, and your glaze is all good to go, it's time to get dipping with our donuts. So all I'm going to do is grab a donut. I'm just gonna pop it in, give it a bit of a twist, just to help it stick to the donut, and then pull it out. Now I like a decent amount of glaze on, so I'm gonna push it about just under halfway down. And you'll see how lovely and thick that glaze is. Look at that, gorgeous. And once you have done your glaze, the last thing you have to do what I like to do is I've got some more Oreos here, so I'm not going to use the creamy bit, I'm just using the biscuit bit this time. So not the creamy bit in the middle like I did for within the donuts. And I'm just gonna crumble a bit of this over the top off my donuts just because I think that looks so pretty. And there you have it. There are my Oreo donuts. Let's pick it up and give you a good look. That's it, all done all ready to eat and enjoy. I hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe if you have and do share it around. And please do let me know if you try these. I want to know how yours turn out too. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time. Happy baking.